Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, back in our neck of the woods, we're just dealing with some rain this week. Right, yeah, so we have some uh, heavy rain moving in tonight. Not expecting any widespread flooding concerns, unlike where we saw in other parts of the country. Could be a little bit of flooding into New Hampshire. I think some higher totals expected there. But yeah, it is a widespread heavy rain tonight. We'll see some gusty winds as well. And some rain lingers early tomorrow, but I think we see some improvement by the afternoon. So how much we're expecting? A widespread half inch to an inch in many towns, but some one to two inch totals are likely, especially on the eastern slopes of the greens. And some isolated strong wind gusts possible this evening into tonight. Maybe a few gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour, mostly for the higher elevations and the western slopes of the greens. So we have an area of low pressure that's been riding up the coast from the southeast U.S. now shifting into the mid-Atlantic and it's bringing some pockets of moderate to heavy rain now shifting into our neck of the woods. Also have an upper level low into the Great Lakes so that's going to be spinning lots of clouds and showers in our direction really through the middle part of this week but as we zoom in closer to home here you can see some areas of light to moderate rain now shifting in to our region, especially across northern New York into the St. Lawrence Valley. Even some moderate to heavy rain at this point, but mostly just seeing some spotty showers across the map. That's the case for the Champlain Valley as well. So as we look at those temperatures, they're on the cooler side today. We have some upper 40s across northern New York. In the middle 50s right now for the Champlain Valley, about 54 for St. Albans into the Northeast Kingdom, some upper 40s and low 50s, and a little bit cooler in southern Vermont in the mid to upper 40s at this point. So as we time out that rain, just some scattered showers and areas of light to moderate rain the next few hours, but those pockets of heavy rain work in, getting into the late evening hours, especially overnight, and even some periods of rain locally heavy tomorrow morning will transition to some drying and some partial sunshine by the afternoon, although we can't rule out a few scattered showers. Temperatures rebound nicely into the low to middle 60s, so it does turn out to be a pretty nice afternoon for your Monday. Here's how much rain, though, we're expecting overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow. About a half inch to an inch for the western slopes of the Adirondacks and the western slopes of the Greens. A little bit lighter totals for the Northeast Kingdom, but one to two inches is the best bet as you get into central and southern Vermont, especially on the eastern slopes of the Greens. Those winds are going to be active this evening and continuing overnight. I think widespread gusts about 20 to 35 miles per hour, but a few gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour on the western slopes of the Greens. And as you get into the higher terrain of the Northeast Kingdom, could see some of those stronger gusts as well. And then heading into the day tomorrow, we're just pretty breezy out of the south and west. Some 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts possible continuing into the afternoon. So uh, as we head into your Tuesday, we also have lots of clouds around, even a few showers with this upper level low still in place. So it's a cool and unsettled day. It looks pretty wet as well, numerous rain showers. And heading into Wednesday, we still have the risk of lots of showers around. So it really takes until about Thursday of this upcoming week for us to start to see those shower chances diminish. And then it looks pretty dry Friday into this upcoming weekend. Look at those temperatures rebounding nicely into the mid to upper 60s.